Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make a GUI start up in the top left. Yeah, that should be top left for you guys. Top left corner and move all the way down and cover the entire screen. So this is going to involve basically just resizing the GUI, but it's another type of GUI animation. So let's go to our explorer. And in Explorer, let's go to Screen GUI and Frame, um, and let's just actually move the frame. Let's move it to where the position is actually zero all the way across. Nothing but zeros for the position. And the same thing actually for the size. There we go. Now you can't see it, right? That's good. That's the plan right now. But we're going to go into our script, and we're going to completely remove this line. Now, script dot parent dot u uh, dot size equals script dot parent dot oops dot parent dot size plus u dim two dot new zero point zero one zero zero point zero one zero. Now let me explain this. Remember, a while true do loop means it's going to run forever and ever and ever until you tell it explicitly to stop using a break. Remember, guys, you can always use a break, and that will kill the loop entirely, no matter what the condition is. But it's running through over and 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 over until basically your entire server shuts down, unless, of course, you explicitly break it. But in the loop we're having to go script let's go over to the uh, explorer and I'll explain and I'll talk as I go script that parent okay that parent that size down here in properties that size equals script that parent that size plus udim2 that new some values now I explained yesterday how you can add udim2 values but I only did it for si a position it works for size too because the size is another udim2 value. Position and size for GUI components are both udim2. Okay? So now when we run this script, it's going to be incrementing. Where the heck is there's my cursor? It's going to be incrementing 1% of your screen every time it goes through the loop in both width and height. And now we'll wait. Boom! Okay, you guys hopefully could see that. Um, we're going to do what we did last time, uh, and we're going to just switch the GUI out real quick. Copy this one, delete this one, paste it back in, and now you guys can see as the comment gets covered up by the GUI, it covered the entire screen as smooth as it could be expected to do since I'm using a screen recorder. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, please hit the like button or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video, and I'll catch you guys later.